Hi and welcome, this is Eric and today I'm going to show you guys how to make your computer run faster. So there are a couple of things, some of them is going to have to be a little bit technical but uh, I'll try to really focus on things which you don't have to be technical or um, things where you don't have to buy anything. So pretty much this is going to be for free and um, let's see. So the first thing, if you like to make your computer run faster, you have to upgrade your CPU and RAM. Okay, so this is kind of technical and probably it involves money, but uh, um, I would say this is for people who don't have a computer, they are looking to buy a new one, or people who are technical, or who people who um, 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 can open the computer and upgrade stuff. For some of them, they like to build their own computer. So make sure that you have a good CPU and uh, make sure you have a better RAM. And uh, uh, what is a CPU? CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. And uh, it's the main processor. Okay, so it's within the motherboard of the computer. You won't even see it. It's not like a software you have to uh, 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 install, but it's a uh, hardware. And uh, um, uh, what it really does is it um, executes instructions comprising uh, a computer program. Okay, so it performs basic arithmetic, uh, logic, Controlling and input and output operations. So um, I won't go further because really this is not, it's kind of technical. So um, just understand it's like a brain uh, of the computer. So if you're looking to buy a new computer, the higher the CPU, the better. If you have to choose between two or three computers, look at the CPU. The other thing is RAM. So RAM stands for Random Access Memory, um, and um, um, what it really does is, um, oops, um, it handles active tasks and uh, uh, apps, applications. So the more tasks you open, maybe uh, programs you open or application you open, the more memory you need. Okay, this is another hardware chip you may need to install or to upgrade, but if you're looking for a new computer, the higher RAM, the better. And uh, I get a lot of questions that how much RAM should the computer have? How much memory should I um, my computer have? Uh, I would say uh, right now eight gigabytes should be more than enough. Um, if you are working on maybe your uh, office work, you don't have a lot of programs, or maybe just uh, school work, um, you you don't have a lot of uh, uh, really more stuff to do and uh, the other thing is um, um, it handles only active tasks so if you are uh, someone who opens like um, you go to the internet you play music um, other programs you run concurrently that's when you really need a uh, higher memory and I'll show you guys how you can see that and um, to see that actually you right click here and then you go to task manager this window will open here so if you want to see how much ram or memory you have you can see over here like if you click you see memory um i have 16 gigabytes and only half of it i'm using and why because i have so many programs open so if you feel like your computer is running slow, just go ahead and close the programs. And programs, it's like uh, maybe this PowerPoint and all that. 
so you can just close them manually and uh, um, there are so many processes in the background are running or some apps are running you are not aware of and uh, I'll show you guys how to um, terminate those or how to close that so I would recommend 16 gigabytes for power users uh, people who have like maybe games they are storing games or uh, programs that consume a lot of memory um, just go ahead and uh, have about 16 gigabytes that way you uh, consume half of it and then half of it it's for more so for for example if you open more programs right now uh my memory is gonna go up maybe 80 percent and all that if you feel like you're running all the time 80 percent uh, you might need to really be closing some of the programs and all that so cpu is what i was discussing before so um my cpu speed um it's about the base speed it's about 2.66 gigahertz okay so if you have two maybe you have one point something it's it will be a little bit slower than this okay so i was talking about processes or uh, apps running in the background as you can tell i only have one our two programs running the bit I mean I opened here but if I go back to processes you can see I have a lot of processes okay you see I have SQL server these are some programs I'm running and they're running the background and uh, um, you can just right click and end task if you want to end them um, we do have HP this is for recovery uh, I do have um, adobe acrobat update so this shouldn't really be running because i'm not using adobe all the time i'm just gonna need it uh when i open the program and uh, there are so many go to meeting really i don't need it right now so you just can right click and start closing and all that and you can see it consumes some of the memory here so um you really don't need to do that if you want to sort this by ascending or descending order you can just click this and it will sort everything you can see um, what programs take much of your maybe CPU or memory okay so this is more kind of technical you cannot really upgrade for free unless if you're looking to buy a new computer and I'll say uh, four gigabytes should be fine but eight um, is gonna help you um, for uh, maybe future needs too so eight for regular users but if you are a power user or you have other programs you're running a lot of programs concurrently you may need 16 gigabytes so the other thing is uh, the second thing is uh, I would say empty your recycle bin okay so the way a computer works is uh, the heavier it is, even human beings, the heavier you get, if you're uh, like you're carrying heavy stuff, you're gonna slow you down if you're walking or running, right? So same to the computer. If uh, you have so many programs or so many uh, or so much, what I say, um, so many files or videos you may slow the computer down especially if they're in c drive and all all recycle bin is on c drive so recycle bin really as it is uh this um uh, it stores it's like a bin which stores deleted programs so you can go in there and recover them if needed so it's always on your desktop and uh, it's on my other workstation here i'm going to see if i can drag it here but it looks like this okay so all you need is right click on it and you can say empty recycle bin that's tip number two if you open right now i see a lot of temp files i don't need all these files you see they've been deleted and uh if you delete something by accident you can just right click and um restore okay so if you take a look at over here I'm not sure if I'll be able to determine the size of my recycle bin here. Let me see if I right click, go to properties. Okay, 
Shadow Bill Location So I have all these stuff in here on the um, Let me try to do this Okay, that will show me how much uh, 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 Memory is consumed, but um, if you want to um, re-enter it, you just right click and go uh, You choose this option Enter cycle bill Okay, it will make your computer go faster a little bit and uh, um, you can check also if you go to this PC you can see for me I do have multiple hard drive but really for most of people they do have C and you can see mine has about 500 gigabytes and um, I have about 300 free gigabytes so I really don't need to, but again, a cycle bin stores stuff which you really don't need. So you can go ahead and empty it. And if you empty it, you're gonna see you, um, your free space gonna increase. So the second one, um, or the third one, which gonna cause all the processes or programs running in the background. Again, you go to your task manager to go to a task, task, task manager you right click and you go to task manager over here for example i saw some of the programs um i really don't need i go, go to meeting i only need this one i uh, i'm hosting a meeting or i'm attending a meeting so i can just right click and say and task and you can see the end and then my memory consumption or cpu is gonna go down so you're gonna have to go through all the programs you don't need at that moment and end them. Okay. Um, the next one gonna be um, disable or oh, upgrade internet speed. So this also involves money, and this internet speed is only when you go to the internet, really. Okay. Um, so sometimes you may find yourself you go maybe to any browser your browser website and it takes time to load and it's because probably it's your internet speed and I'll show you guys how to check your internet speed so you may uh, opt to probably upgrade it and uh, um, really if you want to check your speed of the internet you can uh, type you can go to any of your favorite browser and type speed test and hit enter you're gonna get something like this you're gonna run your speed it will run the internet speed your upload and download options so you give it a time and i can see my Upload speed is about 6, which is really good, and my download speed is about uh, 64 uh, megabytes per second. Okay, and where the server is running from and all that, your internet speed is very fast. So if your internet speed is slower, uh, probably you may need to upgrade it. Okay. And sometimes if you're at home using wireless, try to connect through the um, um, the, the Ethernet cable direct, which may help you. So another tip here is uh, disable uh, startup programs. So again, if we go back to task manager, this is really powerful, okay? If you come here to startup, so startup, these are the programs they uh they when they start when the computer reboots. So when you turn on your computer, this program starts. So you can see I did have Amazon Box Container, uh go to meeting also starts. I use this on regular basis, so that's why it's enabled. I use this on regular basis, that's why it's enabled. But sometimes um uh, if you you think you don't need it you can disable it and if you feel like you need it later on your, your computer is on you can always um, um, start the program so you can see my Skype is on here 
but anyway to disable these programs you may need to uh, right click and just hit disable and this will be disabled like i don't need amazon alexa all the time um microsoft edge starts all the time i can disable it and whenever i need it i can just go here i'll click this uh, age and it will open for me okay but um you can disable enable all these programs and all these are for free and you as a local user you can do this yourself you don't have to take this to an expert or what so there are so many programs most of the time um we really need we really uh, don't need them so like this one here web companion i don't know what this is to be honest so um all i'm gonna do is to go to safe side i'm just gonna disable this okay and so the programs like this if you find out you have a program running in the background probably it's a malware or maybe program probably you installed this program without you knowing so you really don't need it you have to go to um, your programs and then install it okay and these tips actually work for the mobile phone as well if you have a mobile phone smartphone um, you find it slower you can do things like this install the apps disable some of the apps and all that so um, I don't want these videos to be so long I'm gonna end up here and uh, um, check on me on the, my next video we'll continue finishing um, with um, other steps here thank you very much see you on my next video enjoy